Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about C program to append the data into the existing file. Before going to this video, in the previous video we are already discussed about two programs. First one is C program to copy the contents of one file to another file. Second program C program to merge the contents of two files and write into another file. So these two programs are important programs. Please refer that two programs in my YouTube channel, Devela Srinivasarao. Now in this video, we have to discuss about C program to append the data to the existing text files. Okay, here. Uh, this is uh, input.txt file. This input.txt file contains the data everyone. Okay, so fp1 is a file pointer pointing to the input.txt file. Now I am taking another file. That another file is output.txt file. So this is already a existing file. This existing file contains a data hi. This file is pointed by file pointer fp2. Now the content of input.txt file can be appended to the content of output.txt file. So after appending the data in input.txt file to output.txt file then output.txt file contains hi everyone. So the data hi is already there in the output.txt file. Now we are appending the data in input.txt file that is everyone. This everyone data can be appended to hi in the output.txt file. Then the total data in output.txt file after appending the data in input.txt file is hi everyone. So finally we are getting hi everyone in output.txt file. So this is the simple program. Now we have to write that program. So before writing the program, so First, we have to read the data in input.txt file so that this file can be opened in read mode. Okay. Next, uh, we have to add the data within the input.txt file to the output.txt file so that this file can be opened in append mode. Okay. This file can be opened in read mode. This file can be opened in append mode. Why we are opening this output.txt file in append mode? Because this file is already existing file. It contains the data high. Okay. Now we are adding this data within the input.txt file and append it to the output.txt file. Finally, output.txt file contains the data high everyone. So this is the program. Now we have to write the program. First we have to write the header files. Hash include stdio.h Next second header file. Hash include colio.h Next, we have to write void main function. Press begin. So, we have to declare two file pointers. First file pointer pointing to input.txt file. Second file pointer pointing to output.txt file. So, file pointer fp1, comma pointer fp2 okay 
so here fp1 and fp2 are two five pointers of type is file structure that is included in the header file called hash include stdio.h i am declaring one character variable that is ch so char ch okay next one clr sr function this is clears the output screen by using this function this function is included in the header file called hash include cnio.h that is console input output header file okay so first we have to open the uh, this file in read mode next this file opened in append mode because we are adding this information to output.txt file so fp1 is equal to f open file name is input.txt input.txt so this file can be opened in read mode okay so r means it is a read mode this is the file name input.txt this file can be opened by using f open function in read mode okay next fp2 is equal to f open file name is output.txt output.txt this file can be opened in append mode because so this file already contains some information that is a high now we are adding the content of this file into this file so we are adding some additional information so that this file can be opened by using f open function in append mode okay next one is we have to read the data from input.txt file so that ch is equal to f get c of fp1 so we have to read the content of input.txt file character by character by using f get c function whatever the character that is read from input.txt file pointed by fp1 that can be assigned to the variable ch on the left hand side we have to check whether this ch is a end of file or not eof means end of file or not suppose if the character ch is a end of file so we have to terminate the while loop otherwise we have to go to the body of the while loop so f put c ch comma fp2 okay so whatever the character that is read from the input.txt file pointed by fp1 using f get c function that can be assigned to the variable ch we have to check the data stored in the character variable ch is eof or not if it is not eof we have to print the character within the ch is write into the output.txt file pointed by fp2 using f put c function now incrementing the file pointer in input.txt so that is f get c of fp1 okay so once all the information are uh, within the input.txt file are appended to the output.txt file now we have to close fp close of fp1 and next we have to close the fp2 okay so last we are writing get ch function so this get ch function is also included in the header file called hash include conio.h so this is the simple program so we have to trace that program 
first we have to declare two header files hash include stdio dot h and hash include comio dot h both clrscr and getch functions are included in the header file called comio dot h console input output header file now we are declaring two file pointers fp1 and fp2 fp1 pointing to the input.txt file fp2 pointing to the output.txt file now these two file pointers of its type file file structure that is included in the header file called stdio.h now i am declaring one character variable that is char ch ch is the variable its data type is char next clrscr function okay now we have to read the content of input.txt file first so that this file can be opened in read mode so input.txt file can be opened by using fopen function using in a read mode okay next this file can be opened in append mode because we are adding the data or our information within the input.txt file into output.txt file so that this file can be opened in append mode by using fopen function okay next we have to read the data within the input.txt file character by character so that for that purpose we are using fgetc function so this function is used for reading the data from the input.txt file pointed by fp1 character by character first fp1 pointing to so letter e in input.txt file letter e can be read by using fgetc function that letter can be assigned to the variable ch now ch contains letter e so e not equal to eof yes letter e is not the end of the file so the condition is true then the letter e stored in ch can be write into the output.txt file pointed by fp2 by using fputc function okay now here e is right e is printed in output.txt file okay next the file pointer can be incremented by using this statement now the file pointer pointing to now e okay so letter b is read from the input.txt file uh, pointed by fp1 by using fgetc function that can be assigned to the variable ch now ch contains the character v v not equal to eof yes v is not the end of the file so the condition is true the control goes to the body of the for loop f put c here in in variable ch letter v is there v is write into the output.txt file pointed by fp2 using fput c function now again incrementing the file pointer in input.txt so now letter e is pointed by fp1 so letter e is read by using fgetc function from input.txt file pointed by fp1 that can be assigned to the variable ch so now ch contains letter e e not equal to eof e is not the end of the file so that the condition is true so letter e is write into the output.txt file pointed by fp2 using fputc function now incrementing the file pointer now file pointer pointing to r letter r can be read from input.txt file pointed by fp1 that can be assigned to the variable ch so ch contains letter r r not equal to eof so that letter r can be write into the output.txt file pointed by fp2 using fputc function now incrementing the file pointer from r to y now letter y is read from input.txt file that can be assigned to variable ch so now 
letter y is there in ch y not equal to eof y is not the end of the file condition true letter y is write into output.txt file pointed by fp2 now every is printed so after that incrementing the file pointer now the file pointer pointing to this one okay now letter o is read from input.txt file that can be assigned to the ch so ch contains letter o o not equal to eof condition true o can be write into output.txt file pointed by fp2 so then in by using f put c function incrementing the file pointer now letter n is pointed by fp1 so letter n is read by using f get c function pointed by fp1 that can be assigned to the variable ch now ch contains the value n n not equal to eof n is not the end of the file character so condition true so then uh, the letter n is write into the output.txt file pointed by fp2 by using f put c function and incrementing the file pointer to e in input.txt file now letter e is read from the input.txt file pointed by fp1 using f get c function assigned to the variable ch now ch contains uh, letter e e not equal to eof Yes, it is true. So that letter E is write into the output.txt file pointed by FP2 using a put C function. Now incrementing the file pointer. So now the nothing is there in the input.txt file after everyone. So that it reaches the uh, nothing is read by the variable ch. So nothing not equal to eof. That is false. It is the end of the file. The control goes to the next statement after the while loop so now we have to close fp1 so file fp1 pointed by fp1 pointing to the input.txt file this file is closed because all the data within the input.txt file is uh, read and write into the output.txt file once the operation is completed we have to close file fp1 so after that once we are uh, verifying whether this data within the input.txt file are write into the output.txt file or not. If it is okay, then we have to close the uh, fp2 that is uh, pointing to the output.txt file. So after that, we have to terminate the program. So this is the simple program for appending the data to the existing text file. Okay, so thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel name and click on the bell button for future updates in my channel. So please subscribe my channel name, Dibbala Srinivas Thank you.